and skated in. Left side back out to the point. Over to Miller, down the near wing boards. Camper, cross ice pass, quick shot in front, and a score. A little tic-tac-toe right at the blue paint was Cunningham, and he was able to take the pass and beat Kevin Poulin to give the Bruins a power play goal and a one to nothing lead. He gets McDonald, who gains the center line and chips it in. Stumbles a bit, gathers it up in the corner. Oh, and he's just crumbled in the far wing corner on a big hit from his sound tiger. Bruins was Sezikis. Providence gets it back now. Camper centers a pass to the right side. Warsawski, a one-timer, save made, rebound, trickled, pushed just wide by Hennessy, and then pull in, moving to his left on his backside. Finally holds on, able to make the stop, and Hennessy denied again here in this first period. He's had chances. Swing circle, shoots, big blocker, save, rebound, Hells in the slot, a shot, they score! The red light came on, the entire goal kicked off its moorings, and let's see, does it count? There will be a discussion with the officials. The Sound Tiger crashing the net on the rebound. And Bridgeport right now certainly behaving as if they score. Let's wait. That's all we can do right now. No goal, they wave it off. So it looked like the Sound Tigers got one quickly. To begin this second period, a rebound put forth past in the Bridgeport zone. Calvin Nahan leads it off the glass, and it will bounce for Wasowski back at his blue line. Now a nice hip check, knocks down a Bruin. Here's Howes with it, in over the line straight on. Scott Howes drags a shot that was blocked by Stephen Camper. And now we'll have a fight. We will see Tyler Randall dropping the gloves as he comes out the center ice with Blair Riley all the way across to the right of the center line. They started back in the Providence zone. Now for all to see, Riley comes in with a right. Randall's a tough customer, takes a right to the face from Riley. Randall comes in. Riley with a nice two punch right hand combination. Randall comes back with some of his own. They continue to twirl around just at the top of the center circle. Randall shakes off the elbow pad, trying to get some more flexibility in that right hand. Now Riley with a stiff right connecting on Randall. They continue to twist and turn. Randall takes a shot from Blair Riley. Now Riley tries to come in with the left, maybe a mistake. He took a shot in doing so. Randall with a right. Riley comes back with two of his own. Riley with a stiff jersey left, trying to soften up Randall a little bit. Now Randall comes in and connects on Riley. Misses on one. Riley, oh, with a big shot. He stunned Randall. Randall comes back with one of his own. Riley got the biggest punch in during that tilt that stunned Randall briefly. A very good go at center ice between Riley and Randall. They'll go to the box for fighting. Right point. Carter Camper back with it, weaving his way right circle down low. Karan with a quick little spin around his shot. Same made by Pullen. Gets it back behind the net. Karan far circle. High slot now. Down low. Quick shot score. Carter Camper below the left wing circle with Pullen caught a little out of position. Trying to stay from post to post. And the Bruins get their second power play goal of the game to take a 2 to nothing lead. Back in Romano. Out to the left point for Wishart, finds the lane, fires a shot, Sammy. The rebound in front, quick try, Romano, another stop by Hudobin. The puck is still live. Romano tries to track it down. A third shot on goal, Hudobin, another save. Oh, and now we have a scrum following the whistle stoppage. McKinnon had his helmet yanked off. He has words with Sezikis right now. With 7.34 to play. Face off is controlled by the Bruins. Caron will clear it. Five seconds to go, that's going to do it. Ness back in his zone across to the left. Sound Tigers are going to run out of time. Sezikis snaps it as time runs out, but the shot is wide and off the mark. And the Sound Tigers fail to get one on the board for a second straight game as they fall to the Providence Bruins by a final score of 2 to nothing.